Hi Thunder Music students, this is Mr. B here. I play trombone and today we're going to talk about the importance of warm-ups. And you're probably thinking to yourself, warm-ups? That's a waste of time. I know that because I used to think that. I used to think, why am I bothering going to warm-up? I'll just play my piece and eventually I'll be warmed up enough. What if you're in the middle of a concert and you have a solo right in the beginning and it ends up sounding like this? Nobody wants that. We're trying to sound great like this. That's why we warm up. It, helps, it also helps you get better at your instrument. By warming up, you build your embouchure and literally warm up your lips so your tone sounds nicer. Now let's talk about some warm-ups that I usually do. A good warm-up is always a scale, any scale that you know. So let's start with a B-flat major concert scale. We'll do one octave from now, but if you can do two octaves, feel free to do it by yourself. It's always a nice one. It's nice and easy. Another good one is F major because it's right in the middle of the horn. It's a nice one as well. Another great warm up that I like to use is a B major scale. And you're thinking that's really challenging, but it's really not. In trombone, we have a trick we're going to play in hard keys. So imagine playing a C major scale. Instead of playing a C, you're going to play a B. And then from there, you just go up. But that one always, get, that one always gets your brain moving, definitely, because it's, you have to really think about it, you know? It's like, okay, not C, B, not D, B flat, not E, not E, E flat, not G, F sharp, you know, all the way up. It really helps you think. Another good warm-up is long tones. Although they tend to take a long time, they really help your tones. So if you warm up before a gig or a concert, maybe you don't do long tones, but if you warm up before practicing, definitely do long tones. I like to start on middle B flat. And so we're gonna wanna hold it. I'm gonna keep my foot tapping like this. Hopefully you can hear this. And we're gonna hold our note for 12 beats and then rest for four. The idea of this is to hold the note and try and keep a consistent and good tone for the entirety of the note. So let's start up, join the pick up your trombone and join me. One, two, three, and. Now B. Now C. Now C sharp. the horn. It takes a long time, so I won't do them all right now. Make sure to practice them on your own. You now, the final warm-up that I think is undoubtedly the most important warm-up to do is by practicing other pieces and phrases you've done in the past. So, for example, last year my band played this chart, Humanism, arranged by Paul Murtha, and I stuff like second trombone. I had a solo written in here. It's pretty boring. It's definitely below my skill level. So I like to warm up with this solo right here. I'll, I'll have a photocopied version, or a transcribed version, up on the screen right now. That's the A2 right there. Pretty boring, but let's get level. So go through your sheet music you have, pick an old song that you really liked, and play some parts of that, right? So that's all for me from this mini lesson. Keep practicing, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye now. Thanks so much for watching this lesson. Make sure to check out the next lesson where we're talking about building your range. In the meantime, thanks for listening. Make sure to check out Resonate's music at resonatemusic.com for more resonators like this. Also, if you want to check out what my humanism solo actually was, keep watching this video.
Bye.